<laughs> the evil inventor, Zach Varmatek, has captured five baby animals and hidden them along this path. Your job is to find them and help free them. Move through the habitat by pressing the left and right arrows. When you come to a fork in the path, press the up arrow to take it. <laughs> Did you hear something up here? Press the up arrow to investigate. I think I saw Zach go this way. Press the up arrow to take this path and see what's there. The temperature of a crocodilian nest is very important because believe it or not, croc eggs hatch as boys or girls based on the temperature of the developing egg. In this case, help me beat Mama Croc by keeping the eggs at the temperature they need to be all while protecting them from predators. Activate crocodile power! To get the crocodile disc for your creature power suit, complete level three. Use the left and right arrow keys to move Chris in his croc suit. Try it. Great! This tells you there's a new nest over here. Move this way to check it out. You made it to the nest. Okay, this tells you to make the temperature of the nest just right for girl crocs, because it's pink. If it's ever blue, that means the nest should be made to hatch boy crocs. It also tells you what temperature to make the nest. So, to hatch girl crocodilians in this nest, get the nest, get the nest temperature to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The thermometer shows the temperature of the nest and eggs at all times. Look at the top of the line and read these numbers. It's at 60 degrees. Uh-oh, that's too cold. You need to make this nest warmer. Use the up and down arrow keys to have Chris change the temperature of the nest, croc style. Try it! The down arrow adds dirt to the nest, making it cold. Great! The nest temperature is 85 degrees. Now just keep it between 80 and 90 degrees, and they'll hatch as girls. Uh-oh! Predator alert! Egg predators will try to dig down and steal your eggs. As they remove dirt, they'll change the temperature of the nest. There! Monitor lizard! Press the space bar to help Chris scare him away. Get out of here! Nice job! Now make sure your nest is still at a good temperature to hatch girls. This shows you how long until your nest hatches. This shows you how many nests you have to take care of in this level. This shows you how many points you've earned so far. You get points for the number of eggs that you hatch correctly. You need a certain number of points to advance to the next level. If you need help, just click on the question mark in the corner for more information and we'll freeze the game. Happy hatching! Predator alert! There's a nest. Find it! There! Monitor lizard!
Great job! Keep hatching to level 3! There's a nest at the right temperature. Find it! Predator alert! Hurry! There! Monitor lizard! Better make sure the nest temperatures are still right. Better make sure the nest temperatures are still right. There! Monitor Predator alert! Hurry! Oh, congratulations! You've earned a crocodile power suit photo and badge. I think I saw Zach go this way. Press the up arrow to take this path and see what's there. That's that? Press the up arrow to follow it. Frogfish are amazing predators. A frogfish lures other fish close with a little spine that looks like food. Then, a lightning fast gulp! The fish is swallowed whole. In this game, help me and Rocket Jaw catch and free all the fish that Zack has turned into robots. To the creature rescue! To get the frogfish disc for your creature power suit, complete level 3. Activate frogfish power! In each level, you need to catch all the robot fish as quickly as you can. You need to capture the robot fish, and only the robot fish, as they swim by. You can tell a robot fish by the antenna on its head. Use your mouse to point to and click. Great! You get points for that! You can earn extra points for eating the robot fish that appears in the bonus area. This shows how many robots you've caught of each type. Watch out for the puffer fish! If you even touch one with your pointer, it'll use its defense and blow up like a prickly balloon. That blocks your view for a few seconds. Now let's catch those robot fish. Sort the fish into different tanks. There's one tank for each type of fish. Put the type of fish you have the most of into the biggest tank and the type with the fewest into the small tank. To move the fish, use your mouse to click on a fish and drag it into the tank. Give it a try. Way to go! You saved all the fish! In each level, you'll need to catch more fish, and there will be more types of fish too. Frogfish gulps in six milliseconds flat, the fastest strike in the creature world.
free and in the wild. Way to go, you made it to level two. Frogfish can change. Frogfish blow up right into spiky into balls. Frogfish can eat them. to level three. That's Zach. Press the up arrow to follow him. <laughs> what was that? Press up to see if Zach went up here. Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Great! Where should we dig the hole? Porcupines like woodlands. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please! Woohoo! Perfect! Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Oops, try again. Great! Where should we dig the hole? Pythons live in rocky areas. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please! Aardvark Town, level complete. Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Great! Where
Where should we dig the hole? The bat-eared fox lives in brush, where some trees and short shrubs poke out of the grass. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please. Great job. She likes it. Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it. Great. Where should we dig the hole? Caracal cats live in scrubland that offers a few bushes, trees, or clumps of grass. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please. Great job. She likes it. Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Oops, try again. Great, where should we dig the hole? Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please. Great job. She likes it. Aardvark Town, level complete. Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Oops, try again. Great, where should we dig the hole? Ducks need lots of water, so they live in wetlands near lakes and ponds. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please. Great job. She likes it. Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Great! Where should we dig the hole? Pythons live in rocky areas where there are lots of open places to sun themselves. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please. Yes! Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Great! Where should we dig the hole? Warthogs live in the savanna, a flat area with some trees. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please. Yes! Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. Great! Where should we dig the hole? Porcupines like woodlands, where lots of trees offer protection as well as food. Let's see if our creature pal likes it. Martin, drum roll, please. Woohoo! Perfect! Aardvark Town, level complete. Remember, find the grid coordinates on the map and click it. Do it for all three coordinates. <laughs> Whoa, Zach! Press up to see if Zach went up here. <laughs> There's something up here. Do you think it might be Zach? Press up to go look. Spiders spin complex webs to catch insects and other tasty treats. Different types of spiders make webs of different sizes and shapes. In this game, help me use my spider powers to catch Orbit the Spider a meal. It's webtastic! Activate spider power! To get the spider disc for your creature power suit, complete level 3. Activate spider power! Try moving around on the web. Use the left and right arrow keys to rotate spider gr Great! Then good job! So to catch the bee bots in your web, you need to make a shape using these triangle. red dots. This shows you what shape you need to make. A triangle. Start by moving Chris to this dot.
These are the sticky strands. They're slower to walk on. It's easier to move along the wall. Great! Now spin a new web strand between this dot and this one. Webtastic! Excellent! One more web line to go to make the triangle. You did it! You completed Webtastic. the web! And you caught the evil bee bot! In each level, you need to make three shapes. This tells you how many shapes you've made so far. You earn points every time you make a shape and capture a bee bot. And the faster you complete the shape, the more bonus points you get. You need to earn enough bonus points to advance to the next level. Triangle! Rectangle. Spiders have a special feature called a spinneret that makes the webbing. Spider power! Spider power! Spider power! Spider power! Webtastic! Nice web building! You've made it to level two. Rectangle. Triangle. Spider silk is one of the strongest. Spider power. Spider power. Spider power. Spider power. Webtastic. Pentagon. Spider power. Spider power. to level three. Rectangle. Spider power. Spider silk strand, as thick as a magic marker, would be strong enough to stop a jet. Spider airplane. power. Pentagon Spider Power Spider Power
play games to earn creature power suits. Play games to earn creature power suits. <laughs> 